It is October, so I'm going to be watching a whole hell of a lot of scary movies. The first one that I watched this year was The Skeleton Key. I had not seen this. It's got... Kate Hudson and Peter Sarsgaard and Joy Bryant. And it's directed by Ian Softley, who is known for a bunch of stuff that I've never heard about. Oh, I remember K-Pax. Do you remember that? And apparently he did a Tony Braxton music video. Oh, and Hackers? Oh my god. But yeah, he hasn't done a, a whole lot of note. So I wasn't sure what to expect about this movie. I just know I like Kate Hudson. She's gorgeous and at least somewhat interesting. So this is the description of... The Skeleton Key, a hospice nurse working at a spooky New Orleans plantation home, finds herself entangled in a mystery involving the house's dark past. Overall, it was fine. It's There are some enjoyable aspects of it, and I will like watching Kate Hudson in general in pretty much anything. It is funny, the tropes that you see, I would love to see just a compilation of all the scary movies that have a creepy gas station attendant. <laughs> like, why do they keep doing that? It happens over and over and over again in these kinds of movies. Why do the gas station attendants get so <laughs> put on blast? I just feel like that's a little unfair. I don't think I've ever met a creepy gas station attendant. It's like, oh, don't go down that road or whatever. It's, it's never happened. Oh, that's the old Anderson place that... <laughs> Where the hell those murders occurred has never once been the case when I've talked to a gas station attendant. But it definitely happens in this movie. So Kate Hudson is, like I said, a hospice nurse who's going to work at this uh, private place and provide end-of-life care for this gentleman who is played by, I think it's John Hurt, wasn't it? Yeah, a, a criminally underutilized John Hurt because he's mute for most of the time. <laughs> so he plays the approximate corpse and Gina Rollins, that's who it was. I, I said Joy Bryant earlier, but she's given top billing for some reason, as opposed to the villain of the piece. Uh, not spoilers, uh, but yeah. So I kind of like the final idea. I thought it was pretty funny and interesting what the final unraveling is about what they're doing. I just thought it could have been uh, done better and it could have been, you know, scary because I definitely didn't get any of the tension where I'm I'm actually worried about what's going to happen or anything like that. There are many a movie that are capable of doing that, so I don't know why a lot of these ones aren't. But I, like I said, I am going to watch a whole bunch of scary movies, so we'll hit a whole bunch of good ones at some point. But The Skeleton Key, it was a 2005 movie, oh my gosh. So Kate Hudson goes to this place and there's this woman, Violet, played by Gina Rollins, who is trying to provide care to John Hurt's character and Peter Sarsgaard is the estate attorney. And so there are questions early on, however, as to what's going on here because the guy who is being cared for, John Hurt, seems to be trying to signal things to Kate Hudson like, I don't want to be here and something's wrong here. And he has to take this kind of medication every night. And it seems like it might be what's causing a lot of the issues that he's having. Because uh, one night he crawls out of his room and he tries to crawl off the, the roof to get away. Which is not generally what you'd expect from somebody who's being taken care of by his uh, wife. Long loving wife. So there were very few scares in this. You know, there's a lot of uh, she's going into rooms and she's worried about the lady showing up and catching her. And for me, I'm not particularly interested. If that's the, the monster, I mean, there's some ghost stuff too. But if the monster is just uh, an older lady and that's what you have to worry about, it's just not all that interesting. Even if it turned out to be something else, eventually, it's just when you're hiding around this place or that place because this elderly woman is skulking around looking for you. I I'm not all that interested in it. And then Peter Sarsgaard, he's supposed to play the sympathetic character who's looking out for Kate Hudson. And maybe they'll have a romantic interest at some point, but there's just not enough to any of the interactions to really care all that much. So eventually, she is given the skeleton key. Oh, look at that. She's given the skeleton key, which is supposed to open all the doors in the house. There's one door in particular that's hidden behind a whole bunch of stuff that she happens to stumble upon. And the lady says that you can't get in there. That's one of the doors that can't be opened. And there's nothing in there. Don't worry about it. I'm definitely not doing any kind of evil satanic rituals or anything in there. <laughs> so Kate Hudson eventually... Makes her way in. She finds all this weird stuff where uh, they're doing... I think it was called Hoodoo instead of Voodoo. I don't know if there's some branding issue 
that they had like the the hoodooers they originally were voodooers but they got sued because they weren't following the standard operating procedure or something so they had to change their name to something a little off but then so you got this you know just like any of these kind of scary movies she goes through this process of discovering and she has the friend that's at home who is infinitely sympathetic and has no personality whatsoever which is very common in these kinds of movies they have no interests or character or arc or anything like that it's just they're supposed to be a foil for the main character to be able to say things like "Ooh, it's getting creepy over here and then they say are you okay Uh, i can come and help you no don't come until later when it's going to be completely not helpful so kate hudson finds some scary ritualistic stuff and then tries some out on the lady and it works so she knows that something's going on and then she hides (laughs) john hurt she tries to run away with him but can't get through this area so she hides john hurt in like a shed and then goes rushing off to tell peter sarsgaard i I feel like she ought to have called the police at this point and this is where i was really like okay well obviously he's in on it then so he uh what did he do did he chloroform her or club her over the head or make her watch the acolyte somehow he put her to sleep i'm not sure but takes her back to the lady and then they have a little tea party you know get together where they lay it all out on the table and we find out that peter sarsgaard and gina Rowland's characters are actually the super evil who doers who do evil things like suck the life out of people so that they can stay alive uh then you find out they like jump bodies and that's how they do it which uh lucky by the end for peter sarsgaard because uh gina rollins you know she's not a bad looking lady but she's you know in her late 60s maybe and she got to trade in for kate hudson's body which she's no jennifer connelly but peter sarsgaard's got to be happy with that one and then you have uh kate hudson doing the southern accent and pretending to be you know the violet character it's kind of funny and her friend shows up and is like hey so you're good and she's like oh yes dear it's using all these (laughs) southern adages Like, I'm just as spry as a a dragonfly or something. I don't know what she said. But anyway, so yeah, it's that's the final revelation. And then she's in. Kate Hudson gets plugged into the Violet character. But wait a minute. Wait, how does this work? Because the whole point was they kept John Hurt in the state of not being able to talk or really do anything. Because they were sucking the life out of him, right? But they had to keep giving him this, this milky stuff, which is gross to think about. I don't know where the milk came from. But they keep giving him this milky stuff to keep him in that state. So wouldn't Kate Hudson's, now that she's in the Violet character's old lady body, wouldn't that wear off eventually and then she could just tell everybody what's going on? I mean, I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily believe it if some random old lady came up to me and was like, oh my god, so they're stealing bodies and they're doing all these rituals and all that. But I might call, I don't know, some local authority to look into it, I guess. Maybe I don't understand how this movie works. Uh, Because they were taking both John Hurt and Kate Hudson, who was in the old lady body, they were taking them in an ambulance. So wouldn't both of them recover and just say what's going on? Uh, Anyway. So yeah, that's uh, the, the skeleton key. And it was a movie. Uh, I don't think it's it's worth analyzing this, especially carefully. <laughs> I was just uh, looking for a scary movie, and this was one of them. Oh, oh, there is a psychological undercurrent, though, that we can talk about, even though it's it's pretty superficial, is that her father passed away, you know, she couldn't save him, so her connection to trying to save all these old men, which she's in hospice care, so most of that, that kind of care is for people who are going to die, but they haven't yet, you just give them comfort, end-of-life care. So it was her trying to save her father over and over again, so at least there was something going on there. Obviously, that's a good setup for this kind of a story, it was the only thing that was actually in any way resonant or interesting but they do very little with it because it's just her trying to save old men because they were like her father so uh that was the end the beginning and the end of the psychological insight of the movie anyway uh yeah also kate hudson uh, takes her clothes off so that's that's a plus but you only get side boob which was a lot better than i expected to be honest so she's uh she was pretty hot anyway uh that was important to get that across (laughs) So that's The Skeleton Key 2005. Uh, You could skip this one if you're looking for scary movies. Depending on if you just want some basic entertainment, you can watch it. But if you want to be interested in what's going on, then there are many another scary movie that can be very interesting and have more to say than uh, this one. So anyway, yeah, uh, I guess that's it. All right, bye.